Welcome back, everybody. This is DDP back for another video real quick before I dip out for vacation. Fear not, I'll be back in time for next week's video, the normal schedule. Uh, one thing that threw me for a little bit of a loop here, this is, I'll be clear, not the video I had planned on making. My schedule got all kinds of flipped upside down today before I head out. And so this is kind of a condensed uh, discussion that I was planning to make a video on next week. Instead, I'm going to dive into it a little bit now. So we're going to talk a little bit about one of the young players who is kind of overlooked a little bit at this point. One of these young prospects of interest while we're talking about Omax and we're talking about Lively. Uh, we're talking about Jaden Hardy, all this young infusion of talent. And that's great. One guy who's kind of overlooked in this equation, even though he's been here the longest of that batch is Josh Green. And Green has been very up and down at times in his young NBA career. He did take a good step forward in year two, year three, a little bit more ho-hum. Um, again, flashes. You saw the three and D potential there. You saw especially that three-point shot really coming into form, but you still saw some hesitancy, some reluctancy. And that was one of the disappointing things for me late last year as the season kind of went off the rails, I wanted to see more from him. And I don't know if it was a fatigue factor or if it was in his own head, which it seems like we've seen that time at times from him. I was going to say time and time again, but that feels like an unfair generalization so early in his career, especially for what his role on this team is. He's not going to be a guy that routinely goes out there and, you know, takes 10, 15 shots a game, let alone more than that. But we're going to take a look here today at what we can expect from Josh Green in this upcoming season. Now, I was looking at some kind of projected stat lines people were anticipating. I think it's fair um, to guess that he'll be somewhere around 10 points per game. I think his three-point shot is going to stay in that 40% range, maybe a tick above. Um, what I'm really more interested in with him is the hustle plays. I want to see steals. I want to see him disrupting, not necessarily things, obviously steal show up on a stat sheet, but I want to see the disruption and just the hustle and energy, which we, we know he has, but that's what I really want to see from him to be a disruptor and agitator and someone that can make uh, the other team's wings really have a fit. You can have a discussion about whether you think he's best suited to be a shooting guard or a small forward. I would say it depends on what lineup you're running out there. He has the look to me of a, a shooting guard, but he doesn't really have enough marksmanship. He can spot up three and be a, a capable guy there, but I, I need to see more confidence on that front a little bit. So if you're going to give me 10 points a game from green and he's going to shoot about 40% from three, I'm very intrigued on the offensive end, what he's giving there. Um, so I, I'm all for that. Another thing I wanted to look at here is when we're talking about different discussions around the, the league here, this was a shout out first for Bibbs for bringing this to my attention. There was a, an NBA discussion account talking about top hundred NBA players. This was very much somebody's own opinion and analysis, but they did have Josh green listed at 74th, which would mean the Mavericks have four players listed in that particular top 74 uh, teams as Bib points out with four players before the Mavericks in order are so four players in that top 74 the Bucks Warriors Cavs Timberwolves Celtics Nuggets and Pacers it's not a super long list but that is intriguing that Dallas that that you have Josh Green getting that kind of attention at all I, that made my head turn for the, the ceiling and potential of what he could be, I think it's an intriguing discussion. Uh, I mean, we're talking about a guy who his career high is 29 points. If you're looking at his career high for like rebounds, you're talking 12 rebounds. He has had a 10 assist game. Um, and he's been a plus 29 is his career high there. These stats, by the way, coming from Coops, Coop Z on uh, Twitter. So the guy has absolutely shown flashes. He's not going to be a guy that is consistently, you know, a major scoring threat. I think he's going to be one of those complimentary pieces who, if he can be disruptive, if he can play hard, which that part I have no doubt of, it's more getting him past the, 
the deer in the headlights moment. You know, when they made their run to the Western finals, he was really, you couldn't really give him the ball. Like he, he got the ball and he just looked like he was about to have a heart attack, you know, dribbling, throwing the ball, passing it like hot potato, get it out of my hands. I don't want to be responsible for this. Or if I am going to have to take a shot, it's going to be rushed. It's not going to be in a flow and it's just going to be laying bricks. I get it. That's a couple years ago now. He did show continued growth and improvement for the most part last year, but we also saw some of those same sort of struggles. So that's to me really what remains the big obstacle for Josh Green. I don't know what his particular ceiling is. Some of the the comps people like to throw out there for him. You've heard Iguodala. Um, I I don't I don't know that I see that. Certainly not. I mean ceiling, right? You're talking about like almost the aspirational. Hey, if he hits on all fronts and does everything that he could potentially do to be his best this is what he could be i don't know that i see that I iggy was a better scorer for sure he was not three and d uh limited green's got the athleticism he can do a little bit of slashing but i don't know about his ability to create his own shot um and that that's one of those things that i think differentiates there but as far as the defensive presence yes i think that that's apt um and if you're talking about a later installment of Iguodala, then yeah, okay. I, I can kind of see that, but I'm really, I'm really interested. He's one of those guys who all these guys are fascinating prospects to me, but the reason Josh green stands out in my mind is I feel like he can be, he doesn't have the same ceiling as some of these other prospects, but as weird as it sounds, I almost feel like, Whereas they have higher ceilings, some of these guys also have lower floors. Now, we've seen Green be the disruptor. We've seen him be the energizer. We've seen him be capable of being able to knock down threes at a really strong clip um, and not being so complacent. We've seen that confidence. Hardy's got the confidence for days, but he's also at times a volume scorer. And while that can be you know, a spark plug off your bench, it can be a little bit daunting to hand the reins over to an extent for a guy like that, because some young guys can go out and they can get their buckets, but are they always going about it in an efficient way that helps the team? It's not bad by any means to have a guy like that. But when we're talking spark plug off the bench, JJ Barea spark plug is a very different type of spark plug than a Jaden Hardy spark plug. Um, and to be clear, I, I love the prospect of Hardy. I think of these guys that we've talked about, he might have the highest ceiling in terms of guys that you could see taking that leap into superstar cl class potentially. But I also think that guys like that more likely than not don't ever reach that ceiling. I, I think that Omax is a fascinating, fascinating prospect, but there, there is more I want to see. You've just seen too little. We've seen summer league. We've seen summer league and we know what he was in college, at least with, green there's a bigger body of work to look to and while it's more baby steps and it's not as high of a ceiling i feel like the the mean the average of what josh green could be is at least a strong rotational player who can be in a given game an x factor for you that's what i'm intrigued by so we'll see man we'll have to see what he is um i really hope <laughs> I really hope his floor is better. Like think about some of these guys Dallas has brought in in recent years, uh, guys that were supposed to be kind of three and D guys, uh, Sterling Brown, for instance, I sincerely hope his ceiling is higher than, um, or not his ceiling, but I, I hope he's more than a Sterling Brown was for us. Cause that's one of those ones where if you looked at just the percentage and I did it myself, try to talk yourself into Sterling Brown. And then everything you see on the floor, you're just like, Ooh, no, 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 thank you. So I don't know what Josh Green's prospect is this year. I don't know what I anticipate from him in terms of what he could ultimately become, but I do think he's particularly fascinating right now because if he's going to take a leap, I think this is going to be the year. Like this is his third year heavily integrate integrated into this. You almost can't even count his rookie year under Carlisle, but this is his third year heavily integrated into this thing. 
Um, I, I consider him, as, as all things Mavs points out, I consider him a high-end role player at this point. And we've seen enough flashes to know there's there's got to be something there. It's not just it's not just projecting. It's not just saying, well, hey, if you can take another step, like no, 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 we we've seen there's there are sparks there. There there's a little bit of fire. It's Dallas's job and Green's job to nurture that and help it take this next step. And that's really what I need to what I need to see from him. If he doesn't take a, a sizable step forward this year, or if he, whether it's him, him staying the same or worse, regressing a little bit, at that point, I become way more apprehensive because that's not to say that he can't still shake it off and take a step further down the road. But at this point, you got to look at how many years you've had him in your system developing him and what you've gotten out of him versus what it would cost for a new contract, things like that. So I think this is kind of a make or break year for him. I'm optimistic and high on his potential but at the same time i'm just apprehensive enough and reluctant to try and project what i think he's going to be i'm reluctant to try and say definitively i think he's going to take this leap i do think he's going to be better but i could also see myself being wrong and that's kind of where i was last year with josh green i was optimistic and then as the season progressed i was like and okay yeah yeah still hopeful there there's moments but i need more consistency and uh if he can bring you that lockdown defense on the perimeter and he can be that agitator and energy guy and still find like find a way to hold on to his confidence and not you know kind of shrink away at times then we got something we got a nice piece to the equation here with what we're building Till then, the jury's just out. But let me know in the comments, what do you think of Josh Green? Again, I wish I had more time to keep delving into this. Maybe I'll circle back in a subsequent week as just a kind of a, a nested segment, if you will, within a show. But what do you think of Josh Green? Do you think he takes a ye uh, step forward, a leap forward, if you will, this season? Or do you think we've kind of already seen what he is and it's more just trying to surround him with other guys that can play defense just to try and bring that aspect, which fell off as a team so bad last year. Is it just trying to bring all of that back into the fold and treating this more like a stopgap that you're hopeful for, but you're also unsure of? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below, subscribe to the Dallas Prospect. And until next time, guys, remember, every legend was once a prospect. Peace!